días, señor. Howdy, fellas. Past morning, ain't it? Man? Yes, sir. Well, then. That's the word. Morning, Tim. Good morning, sir. So sad. Hello, how are you today? Go on, go in, board. Hey there, partner. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. <gasps> That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Yeah! Come on, pal. Won't you support our veterans and their families? Think of what they sacrificed for everybody. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. 
Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> 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 Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. 
You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Dante knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. And let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. Okay, I'll leave. You watch behind me. I can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Goddamn place. I mean, gosh darn shithole. Exactly make it too hard for grave robbers, do they? Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. I'll try this way. Keep on. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. I'll go first. 
Stop. Shush. Wait. Shush, shush, shush. Sorry, uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. No. What? There's no way. Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. I think it came from around here somewhere. Somewhere over here, right? Hey, John. Over here. Get in cover. And we'll bust the door in. You boys found my pep, he's watching!
around here someplace okay but we'll need to be quick we can't go back to Bronte empty-handed let's have a look where they first shot at us from <sighs> robbing grave robbers we've hit the big time like I said let's look around where they jumped us kicked off. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. There might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side.
bought quick. Let's get back to Dutch. What is the problem? Looks like we lost them for now. Come on. Let's just get there. Get this done. Come on, quick! Come on, Arthur. What are you doing? Let's go get Jack. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ha! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. You. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Idiot! All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And Fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun. And left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? 
I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now, Abigail. Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. He's back, all right. He makes some room for John there. Hey, hey, how about a song, huh? Oh, yeah. Out of the air. <laughs> Play us away. Woo! <laughs> 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 Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. No se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los Vine llorando y con la flor del trompillo me venía consolando. Yo soy como el coyotito que los revuelco y los dejo y me voy al trotecito mirando por debajo. Tahiti, dear boy, Tahiti. If you say so, <laughs> mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Here you are. Eat up. Thanks. Thanks so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing something around here. I was just a kid, 17. 18, long before I got 
feel like I can breathe again. <laughs> no. Thank you, John. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky it's this okay. time. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This is a party. Come on. All right, all right. Boring bastard. Instead, they hang the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> Was you scared? Absolutely petrified. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> One of these days we'll get you singing. Uh, you don't want to hear that, I promise. Oh, but I do, Herr Strauss. Thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. Suit yourself, then. You what the hell it is. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just I trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. What do you got for me? There's no response. On board the Heartland stage, we're pulling all about the seats. It's pretty much do about the sheets. Started as a thieving line in 1849. Opposition lady fast, people must be gone or die. It's pretty crowded here, we're smelly man. It's fat and hot, we're in a
There, boy. fired up there. We are going to do this, Arthur. It ain't just talk. I believe you. Points cabin. Yes, that's true. Oh, brother, I am really drunk. <laughs> you're just a goddamn drunk. <laughs> Is that right? Sure is. But the problem with you, Williamson, is that you're all talk. All talk, huh? And what are you looking at? Not much.
right, Charles? Yeah, just taking it all in. Sure is good to have the kid back. I'm very happy to see young Jack again. Well, smile then. So... What is it? Hello, Lenny. Well, how are you? Okay, I think I should get some sleep. Hey. I'm guessing I had some fun last night. This ain't funny now. Get out!
you doing the right thing by that boy now? You looking out for him? My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur... I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary.